is what we require, so depth and prop is what we will search for. And today's search has led us straight to Ireland, where we will be facing Munster for a player. Well, he's not really a Super Rugby reject as such, but a man more so that rejected Super Rugby. Who that is? Well, stay tuned to find out. What is going on, everyone? Hope you're all doing well, and welcome back along to your home of rugby, where today the Super Rugby rejects are back in action, looking for a bit of depth inside that front row and today well it's no real surprise we'll be going straight after the new Irishman Ollie Jaeger sure he's not been in Munster very long just six games since the end about last week of December he moved back to Munster from the Crusaders to go play back in Ireland back in his home nation of course since then in the last couple of weeks he has been also capped with the Irish national team so straight to the top he goes but of course Oli Jaeger spent a lot of time in New Zealand going through the development system with the Canterbury side and of course the Crusaders in Super Rugby where he spent six seasons with the side and has gone a long way through the development process almost becoming an all black before again rejecting Super Rugby and ultimately New Zealand Rugby. Funny enough, this guy is English born as well, born in London to, of course, an Irish mother and a Dutch father. So we could have seen him playing for the Dutch as well, but now he's returned back to what he considers the home of his heart, and that is Ireland. Today we look to add him to our lineup and get some depth because we've pretty much just got Kitschoff, Tommy Afuna, and John Alfoa. That's not enough to dig into a Super Rugby season, so Ole Jaeger will be the number one we look to bring in to add to that depth. I've got a couple of them lined up as well. Of course, Jaeger is a tight head, so he will be looking to share that with Big Ben Tamiya Funa, who has, on the odd occasion, played a little bit of loose head as well. So we'll see those guys mix and match as they go through the seasons with this team. Of course, our side has seen some changes as well, and we've moved in with our new player, Solomoni Carter, who will start at inside centre, going one-on-one -on -one with a man who possibly will be joining the rejects as well at a later date in former chief, Alex Nankerville. There's a number of players who really, really would be good in this back line, but we'll get to them soon enough. So we welcome in Solomoni Carter, wearing the number 12, and we are after the big man, Oli Jaeger, to join our rejects. And he will, of course, complete the bench as well. Yes, it will mean having two tight heads. But like I said, Big Ben has four times in his career played on the loose head side. So, you know, for me, that's good enough. That is really good enough adaptability for the Big Ben man we've got in our front row. Oh, it would be good to have a full bench. What is going on with his eyes? He can hardly see out those. Goodness me, we're ready to go. Munster in the red. Rejects, of course, in the yellow, red and black. We are underway. Rejects on the hunt once more. And speaking of, oh my word, Big Ben has been smoked. Huge clash. And no, it wasn't Big Ollie who put that damaging smoker in. My word. We have, of course, with the addition of Solomon Ikata, we have added in this man here, Reese Hodge, gone back to fullback, where he, I feel, will be at his best. But remember, we will rotate the seat as we go around the grounds, looking to pick up all of the superstars to join our rejects team. Here is the line out, Cleavy goes to the front, Holgaard, who is on the list as well, Bolovana running large, a little bit on the outside there, Lazana picks up, who has stayed in the team for the impressive performances, and we know why, look at that run. Great play, Holgaard to the right, numbers everywhere, Will Skelton, look out, the Charger is in. Big body, unstoppable there, close to the line. Will Skelton grabs another try in a rejects jersey, and even Mapimpi is impressed by that one. The King gives it the thumbs up. Look at Lazana. Had support on the inside, chose not to use it. Marchant was flirting around with opportunity as well. Reese Hodge up in the line there. You saw him just watching on as Big Will Skelton went thundering into contact. And like I said before, unstoppable. That close to the line. Well, Oli Jaeger really was a prospect for New Zealand rugby. 
as he went through those ranks, appeared for the New Zealand Barbarians, and he was also an under-18 schoolboy for Ireland. So he's been on the radar for both nations for some time as the rejects get the lead underway. Seven points to nil, up over Munster. And a side that I feel like we should be comfortably beating with the way this Munster side is positioned right now. We get things back underway. Advantage. And Cleavy knocks on. Well, an error there from the Rejects. Maybe we should look at getting a hooker in soon as well. As Munster set about some attack. Good work there, securing some quick ball. Murray goes out all into that midfield there. Nash is met with a heavy hit. Pick and go of quickness. Terrence Crowley hit the line and it will be going back for the knock on referee. Bizarrely deeming no advantage there. I thought he certainly Crouch. got a few metres Find. up from that 22. Set. Connor Murray will feed to this line out and it's a good one too from Munster. Oh, they've been hit hard and they've been hit late. Samu, a little way to march and look out. What's he going to cook up? A little chip on the top for Kanetas, met by no one in particular. Martin does well to clean up. Telfua hit hard on defence there. It's Crowley, oh no! When running forward, stepping inside, Marcus Ullum and Pimpi. And even Ben Volleyballer says that's not a war you want to start. We're getting a shot at goal here from Munster. Game on. Very, very intriguing position for this game now. Steps up just over halfway. Looks like he might have the legs. It's got everything. It's got the full complement. And it's got a three pointer as well. Munster hit the scoreboard with their first points of the. Well, it's the daytime. Beautiful daytime as well. And it is seven points to three. League cut down to just seven. Good little period there for Munster. We certainly forced their way into the game. Now, opportunity. Rejects put pressure on defensively as barnstorming runs here from Munster. Looking for a little bit of an option. They go inside. Sebi Kitschoff gets there quickly on the breakdown. Here's Murray into the midfield and breaking again and looking straight through the middle. This is a great run from Munster. Support lines are there and Crowley's gone straight through. He's taken on Kalinas. It's the speedster. What a ball inside. It's knocked on. Oh, you can't believe it. He's knocked on a certain try. Here's Fuller Voller. The Advantage counter attack over. is on. Solomon Ikata just gets the pass. Tried to really force it in Rhodes. Tommy Funa slows it all down and gets smashed. Big plays. Tafua. Short to Fuller Voller. Who really is excelling. He's got Joe Marchant. And the Englishman will run to the corner. And Joe Marchant will score for the rejects. And that is taken. The life and soul right out of Munster. Well, they are almost doing it the other end with Munster. A massive opportunity. Drop ball with an open try line. And then Ben Volavola took over. What a creative force he is. Acceleration of pace through the holes. And the finish of absolute class. Well, I was a bit worried they were under a bit of pressure, which is not what we like on this series. We don't like pressure. We want to be able to get our players, get in, get out, and get them in the team. 14 points to three, Reese Hodge. Now's the extra two. Well, I tell you what, you want pressure. Munster are surprising us right now. Back underway. Nice one up. Cleavy. Squirts it out to Volleyball. Here's Solomon and Carter. Nice link up play as well. Marchin looks here as the power game. Does so! Brilliantly is offload. Not quite on the money. Volleyball has to go back and clean up. Now what can Hogard cook up? Uh oh, nothing much there from Hogard. He's thrown out the back door. Cleavy's picked it up and he's held onto it. Reeks Hodge. Straights things up. Over the top of his head he goes. Carter. Back to Tummy and Funa. I want to see Solomon Ikata just run with that ball. Kitch off. Here is Kata. Away to Marchant again. No way through there. Good defence. Scanner won it. Hogard with Lazada. 
down the left wing side, pops it back into Mipipi, skips through one, skips through two, Marco Zola! Mipipi will score it! And that is him and his elusive best! Marco Zola Mipipi, toying, playing with the defenders! And the third try for the rejects is in the books! Wow, Lozana is quite something special. But Marcus Oliver Pimpy, not only showing that agility, but also a bit of power as well to push his way through a couple of would be tackles. Okay, we can, I think we can breathe a little bit of a sigh of relief now. Whew. Tell you what, when they almost scored that try, they would have gone ahead as well. I was beginning to get worried. But I feel like now we may have pushed back enough at 21 points to three that Munster may well look to, well, just relax a little bit as well. Crowley gets us back underway. Skelton, nice work from Big Will Skelton. Oh God, play nine, he's got Lozana. Bad run there from Lozana, Tommy Funa, there goes half time. The way to Vola Vola, who is not gonna miss around this one. We're in control, we're loving life, and we're doing the job at the moment. We're up 21 points to three. Comfortable isn't, well, not a word I really wanna use, but let's be honest, this monster side should be doing much, much more with the team that they have. Down by 18, not much ball, but certainly they've got the squad to do some damage. I've been happy so far. We've seen a few touches from Solomon Carter, who seems a good work from Marchin. The Vola Vola really is the glue in the scene at the moment as we look to crack into the second half and make sure we keep the promise here to Oli Jaeger and get him in this team. Right, back we go to Reese Hodge. Let's see what we can fry up into the frying pan. We go, Reese. Put a little bit of oil in there. Lube it up real good. It's Carreras is flying on in there. And there is Oliega. First real impact we've seen him on this game. Murray keeps alive. Donahue doing well. And eventually the kick away there from Scannell. Will go. Oh no, Reese. Oh, Reese. Should have left it alone, Reese. You just don't want to get involved in that sort of ball. Good kick away. Oh my God, they've gone right to the back. They might be Nankerville that slipped that one through. Easily taken. The two South Africans, one is now Irish and Klein who takes that kick. Of course, Snyman behind him. Now they look at the back lines, into the line of the fullback, doing very well, getting it out wide. Big chance here for Monster. But my Pimpy drills him into touch. No way at all. Calvin Nash is a dangerous participant, that's for sure. Here's Cleavy. Skelton delivers it down, and Hogard will just smash this one. Upfield as far as he can. The bounce is dangerous. Well, Hogard's been eluded there as well. Now they look. Oh, that's a massive tackle and a turnover from Samu. Great ball out to Martin. Here's Canadas. One to beat Canadas. Oh, great hit. Great hit at the back. No way through Mike Harley there at all. Here's Samu. Got the turnover. Samu charging forward. He's a meter short. Ball right there. Skelton looking for two. Well, Skelton. Again. Unstoppable that close. You just don't touch the man. He really is incredible. And the scoreboard extended even further. The threat of Munster is well and truly now extinguished. Look at that. Swapping the hands of the carry with such ease there. Samu did all the hard work. He got the turnover in our own 22. He fed it out wide. Kalanis made a lot of room. But it was the finish from Skelton. That was the deal breaker. Now here is Hodgie. Actually, let's make our changes, shall we? Before Hodgie gets that kick over, let's make our changes. And let's see who we want to bring on 
We're, now, Volleyball has been outstanding, but I feel like we need to get a little bit more love coming in here for the big man um, in Jimmy Gopeth. We'll make the change of Cleavy off for Reddy. Again, we don't have any props, so let's see what he does here. Tommy Funa at loose head, uh, and we'll, we'll bring on our forward there as well. Scouting's been phenomenal. Uh, Luatua can come off for... Well, we've got two locks there. Ardron can make his way. Lozana can go off for Fafita. And uh, Tim Nano Williams can get a bit of game time as well. Where, though, for Timmy, let's put him on the wing. Let's put him on the wing. And uh, who was left? It was Tukulet, wasn't it? You know what? Marchant can have a rest. Tukulet into midfield. Why? I, d I don't know. Because we're going to do this. That's what we're going to do. Yes, I like that. Brilliant. Nice changes. Let's get the conversion. Gotta, you've got to think about the changes, man. It's all about the changes. As Rhys Hodge makes his last action as a fullback, he will be moving into midfield. As here we go. Plenty of changes. You've already seen him, so I won't go through them again. Next episode, though, we will, provided we... Hold on to this 25-point lead. We will have Oli Jaeger to jump in as well. And maybe we'll be back, Munster, for Alex Nankerville as well. Here's Tommy Funa now playing. On loose head. There is Fafita. 20. Pull guard. Ah, oh, Fowa. Why see it? Those big legs pumping. Ready. He's got on the outside here. Reese Hodge. Now where's Hodge going to go? Oh, little inside, outside step. Hodge beats one. Oh, Funa's through two. What a run from Reese Hodge. Hoggard. Up to Reddy. I had a little hole there to Reddy. Here's Samu. He'll go forward for Fafita. He's held up in the tackle exit there by Fafita. Now we'll use it away, Hoggard. Looks to snap a little hole. Hoggard. Oh, he's short. I can't believe it. Unstoppable from there. Here is Fafita. Easy finish. And the rejects get another. Five tries. Fire Fafita. Impact off the bench. And some of these players are getting a little bit too excited. Well, I thought Holgaard was in here. He's so quick. He's so snappy. But some great defense from Haley at the back. Stops him in his tracks. And from there on in, the defense could not rearrange in time. And we have ourselves our fifth try of the night. Rex Hodge, impact forward midfield. Love to see him making a little bit of inroads into the defensive line. Another two for Hodge. It's 35 points to three. Just to mention, at one point, it could have been 10 points to 7. A monster lead, but a knock-on. Alex Nankerville, eh? Maybe he's still got Super Rugby in his heart. Underway we go again through Crowley. Here's Tommy Afuna. Great ball! Solomon in Qatar. Still needs to get him a try. Debut try was really what we want. Get them out there in the first game. Good bracket up there. Here's Hoggart. He'll tap again. Skelton. Creating numbers out wide. Here is Hodge. Hodge going alone. Couldn't look inside there. No support. No numbers. Kanedis. Referee looks like he's one of us. Samu. Kanedis. Ardron. Oh, the big man's through. Looks towards left side. Took him in. Is there one more? Maybe. It's Solomon Ikata. Defend. Oh, he's taken down. Two defenders coming on him. Hoggard, ready, still going, he's picked up and dumped. Release. Where's the debut try? Where's Carter? We need him. Uh-oh, Gopeth picked up and dumped. There he is. Fafita, inside to our forward. Back to, oh, Hodge, we've gone the wrong way. Trying to find Solomone, we want to get him a try. Is Klein makes a good thunderous run there. Oh, is that almost an intercept there? That's a turnover. Samu does well. Terrible pass out. Kanetis gets it. Tommy Afuna leaves it out the back door. And we've just managed to get that back, but lost. Oli Jaeger says, I'm still committed to Munster for now. He gets a turnover. Now it's nicely there. 
Crowley's done well to hold on to it. Here is another good run. Let's tie Byrne in six. Murray turns it back inside and O'Donoghue has a crack. This has all been a very good passage from Munster. Now they find it through the middle. Look at the numbers here. Exquisite work on attack. Kilcoin the one to take it to ground. Here's Byrne again. Tyler and Talfua. Samu, Fafita. Ah, can't quite get away. A couple of good defenders there. Hogard. Nice away to Tommy Afuna. He's looking to the left. Who's there? You know who's there. It's Solomone. Kata. He just can't elude that last defender. Try as we may. Here is our forward. Good tackle on him. Where are you, Solomone? Ready. Away for Reese Hodge. In midfield. Hodge. Finning. Ball racing. Reese Hodge has been extraordinary tonight. A draw, play to Carter, no way through there. Shocking play, really. We'll go short now, Alfoa! Alfoa soon! Via for feet to right there on the shoulder. Hogard plays with the ball, gives to Tommy Afuna! Oh, the big man! Gains easy meters! Driving on the back, Talfoa's there. Kinetis, Samu, oh, Reese Hodge! Oh, Reese Hodge, he's bulldozed a 4 one overlap there. I'm still trying to look for Carter. Can we get the ball to him? Inside, outside. No, no, Williams. Oh, we've not seen him for a while. So many numbers on the left. I can't help but screw a try out here. John Alfoa. Oh, what a fan. Sorry, Solomone. We tried. But John Alfoa, with acres of space, could not be denied. A big old ball man like that will never turn down an opportunity to score a try like that one. I could not find him anywhere. Trying and searching. Look at that fend. Get out of the way. What a try from Big John. That was his way of saying, do not count me out yet. Game is done. It's been done a while. Rejects with a big win here over a talented Munster squad that is just not playing their best rugby. Great kick from Reese Hodge. It was been phenomenal tonight. The sun is slowly dying in the background. Reese Hodge calls time, and we are done. Oriega, welcome to the Super Rugby Rejects. A clinical display, very impactful off the bench. We've got to say that as well. Via Fafita, I think he's forced his way back into the starting team. Simply outstanding. And maybe a little bit of John Alfaro as well. Six tries to nothing. Just a Crowley penalty goal. They promised so much, Munster, but the errors were just everywhere. Six tries, though. Scouts him with two. Mpimpi, Marchin, Alfaro and Fafita grabbing one apiece. How about that, eh? Four tries to two forwards over the backs. And Reese Hodge, flawless off the tee. Six out of six conversions. Gotta love it. You've got to love what you see. Rejects dominate this game. 70-30 on possession. 60-40 pretty much on territory. They made Munster work. And over double the tackles as well. 73 to 31. Tell you what, the Rejects, not their flashiest or best performance. But they just dominated Munster, who were not at this game at all. Let's go Ollie into the team, though. It's going to be good to get a full, proper playing 23. And yeah, I know it means that we're going to potentially have a double tight head on the bench, right? But you know what? We've got Big Ben. And we know Big Ben can play on both sides. So it doesn't matter. Right. Ludiaga. Well, Ludiaga would be a very good shout for our second row. But it is, in fact, and I renamed him Ollie instead of Oliver because, you know what? He's Ollie Yeager, right? Let's get him in. He's not 24 now. He is actually 28 years of age. Still in his prime, though, and recently minted an international player as well. Sorry, Tuvi. You are the last remaining of the pre-rejects. You are gone. Let's get him out of here. He's gone. Right. Okay, two tight pips. Don't worry about it. 
Let's make some changes, right? Let's give Big Ben some more time. Let's give Kitschoff a bit of a rest. He'll go on the bench. And you know what? You've played there four times in your career, Big Ben. Let's make that five. Oli Yeager is in. I think we've got two hookers. You know what we don't have two of now is wingers. Yeah. Oh, sorry. It's scrum halves. I, I mean, I looked at the fact that Holgaard could play wing, and I immediately thought, well, we could put Holgaard on the wing once we get a new number nine. Now, I've got a couple of number nines on my list. Actually, I've got three more I wanted to get. The third one is probably the one we're going to go for next because he is truly a super rugby reject. Now, we talk about the James Lowe's and the Bundy R. Keys. We've got a bit of an Irish thing going on here at the moment. But the other one, and you probably already guessed who it is from that alone, is just like them, rejected from Super Rugby. Not good enough. Moved on. And now he's an international quality number nine. As much as it pains me to say it, this guy is up here and he's doing the job for Ireland. Much like Aki, much like Lowe, I think this guy's going to be next. But look at it. We can put Holgaard on the wing. We've got Mipimpi, we've got Kareta. They've played a lot of games. Maybe it's giant time to mix those guys around as well. Reese Hodge was incredible in midfield, by the way. Really, really impressive. But look, look. Let's make some changes to the team. Um, I don't like Luatu in the second row. I much prefer um, what we get out of Fafita. So we'll make some changes. Um, let's see what we can do. Let's make a few changes here. I want to get Fafita back in. Um, you know what? I want to put Alpha in as well. You know what? I can't. Because he's... I can't. He's a loose end. Right, that was that was a mistake. Um, Lazana's been really good. Uh, Telfu has been a bit quiet since not being at eight. So let's do a little bit of this, shall we? Who else we got in the back row? Uh, just Luatua. Luatua is a really good six. Let's give him another chance at being six, shall we? Um, let's take... Let's take Samu off for a bit of a rest. Taufu back to eight. Uh, Will Skelton is electric. What else we got in this back line? Everyone here is fairly new, except for Carreras, who had a very quiet game. So let's bring Tim Nano Williams onto the wing. Carreras can have a rest. And of course, Volo Volo. I think Volo Volo is phenomenal at 10. So that's what I'm going to change. Uh, we'll see between now and next episode. But let me know who you think it's going to be. We're going to get a number nine because we don't have one, one on the bench, right? We've got two wingers and a fly half. Let's get the continuity of the bench proper and uh, get this team looking like a real 23 or 24 man squad that we are. More props to come. Well, we've just got to fill this squad out now. Make it ready for Super Rugby. So I'll see you all next time when we continue the search for maybe a 30, 35 man squad and look ready to face Super Rugby. Until then, thanks for watching as always and take care.